What's up guys and welcome to my channel. <laughs> I feel so weird talking because I haven't filmed a video, like sat down and filmed a video in so long. <sighs> like my last video I posted that was like filmed in like September. So yeah, my last video I filmed was the one before that. So about a month. It's been about a month or something like that since I filmed the video. So sorry about that. Yeah, I'm... Uh, <laughs> First, let me talk about my appearance. I'm wearing like my pajamas right now because I'm just gonna do a chill get ready with me and I get ready in my like pajama shirts, loose chill shirts so they can get dirty instead of my clothes that I'm wearing for the day. So yeah. So yeah, this is gonna be a chill get ready with me. Um, I got me some tea. I'm just sitting at my vanity. It was good light right here. So, so yeah, let's just get started. I already did my eyebrows if you can't tell already. Um, so yeah. Alright, so for foundation today, I randomly just went and bought the L'Oreal True Match, which is like the OG old foundation. Um, this is actually the first foundation that I bought um, on my 18th birthday, actually. And yeah, I was at Rite Aid and I was just like, I actually went in there to buy, um, I went in there to buy a Milani foundation, but they didn't have it. <laughs> um, so I just seen this and I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder like why I haven't repurchased that. Cause like it was my first foundation and I bought it um, just cause it was like hyped at the time. And I don't know if it's actually like good on my skin or not. So I was like, I want to buy it since I have more experience with different foundations and see if I actually like it. So I'm trying it out so again. Um, it's in the shade W7, which I think is too dark for me right now. I'm getting pretty pale. And so I'm gonna mix it with L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and this is in the shade W4. Way <laughs> big difference, but. Okay, I use like a lot of pumps, but I'm just trying to get like an even. This is a lot of foundation. And I'm not gonna wear all this, but I'm just trying to get like an even good color, you know what I'm saying? Mm, that looks about good. So, how have y'all been? Um, I feel really bad that I haven't posted in a while because I've been getting some new subscribers and they probably will go onto my channel and be like, dang, she hasn't posted in a month or a week ago, you know what I'm saying? But um, for those who are new, I'm not a full-time YouTuber, at least not yet. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just work a lot, Get, making that sh money. <laughs> and yeah, I wish I can post more consistently, which I can. I'm um, I'm gonna try to make it work now. I oh, and I also moved. This is like oh, and I'm looking at my mirror. That's why I'm not looking at you. But I also moved. Um, so I'm working on making a new like setup area for me. And I'm actually going to look for furniture today, so that's exciting. Maybe I'll come home with the whole new furniture set today. Never know. For example, I'm going to use my Urban Decay um, on, I was going to say all nighter. Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer. Um, but before I moved, um, I even then wasn't that consistent and I noticed with me I have so many ideas in my head that I want to do like for videos I'm not gonna worry about too much the lighting because I'm just trying to make it like a chill thing I don't want it to be overproduct <laughs> an overproduction just to chill and get ready with me you know but anyway I noticed with me is like I have so many like video ideas in my head that I want to do some beauty related some not um, I don't really want to limit my channel to be just like beauty, you know? Like, I used to take um, a film class when I was in high school at, I don't know if they have this everywhere else, but where I'm from we had like a skill center, which you get to leave your high school and go to this center and do another class, which is more like into your interests or what you want to do when you go to college type of thing. And I did that and I took the audio, video, and film production class there. And that was so much fun and 
Our, for our final project, we had to put all the... <clears throat> Hold on, my voice sounds like... Ooh, masculine right now. Um, <clears throat> for our final in that class, we had to do put all our projects that we did that year on one CD. And I'm trying so hard to find that CD because I just want to see, like, you know, what... I just want to go back and look at it, maybe, like, react to those. But, like, the point of telling that story <laughs> was, like, I used to make videos, like, before I did YouTube and stuff. I always mm -hmm. made, like, silly videos with my best friend all the time. Like, we have some embarrassing videos <laughs> on Facebook or, like, we have one on YouTube, which you won't be able to find, and I don't think I'm going to share that until <laughs> I find it on, like, her laptop, because on YouTube now, it, like, a lot of the video we were lip-singing to it and stuff, like, to songs, so now it's, like, silent because, you know, copyright. So, it's, like, pointless watching the video. You can't hear anything. No, well, because we put music over it, whatever, you know what I mean. But yeah, I just miss making fun videos and stuff like that. And I noticed with me, like, I plan videos so well in my head. I even have, like, a journal where I write them out. But when it comes to executing it, <laughs> if I don't have, like, the setup situated how I want to or, like, I know I'm going to need, like, extra help with the video or want people in my video, that's what, like, sets me back. I, I do so much in the planning of it and then when it comes to... I plan so much to the point I don't even do it. You know what I mean? I'm so caught up in planning a video or thinking about how I want my channel to be or what kind of videos I want to make that I don't even make them because I'm like, you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. But um, Oh, right now I'm about to set my face with my RCMA no color powder. But I just feel like I learned all my tips and stuff on natural hair from YouTube. So I feel like making videos and... Like, I can show you what I do now, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know. I just feel like I would be a, a repeat of all the videos that I've watched because that's where I've learned all I know from. It's not like I'm going to be telling you guys anything new or any new information. And I just feel like all the videos have been made already that you can possibly make on natural hair or that, like, relates to me and my hair. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just talking right now, rambling. It feels so weird to be sitting here. And then, um, I attempted to make to makeup tutorials. Like, um, I was supposed to post a Halloween tutorial, but I just end up, um, just doing it and posting pictures on my Instagram. So, if you're following me on Instagram, you can see, like, I, I still be active a little bit. But if you aren't following me, go follow me. <laughs> um... But yeah, I just, I don't know. I attempted to film a Halloween tutorial, some other makeup tutorials, but it just didn't work out. Um, oh, I'm setting my face with Cody Airspun Powder, by the way. As you can see, I avoided wiping away my bake as I set my face. I need to wipe this foundation off my hand. Like, it's dripping. Wow. Look at this. That is a mess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, did I get powder in my tea? No. I'm not sure if that's just bubbles or powder. Wow. <laughs> What's next? Alright, so now I'm taking my broken um, NYX contour kit. <laughs> I don't know how the lid just popped off, but whatever. And I'm just gonna mix the swirl of these two. Um, what else could I chit chat about? <laughs> Ooh, like that's why I love that Cody Airspun powder. Like my face feels so soft. This is one. This side is a little um harsh there. Oof, oof. So I just did a little bit of baking under this contour. Now I'm gonna go into the eyes. So I'm gonna try to go through this quickly. So for my eyes, I'm going to take my Morphe 35O palette. Looks like fall. I'm going to take this. Uh, hold on, let me get the right brush. What are you doing? 
I need to wash my brushes actually there's, there's not many um, options here alright so I'm going to take my Morphe E23 brush and take this Kelly right here and decrease for transition um, I hope that isn't too loud you can hear like my uh try it That song is in my head because you know it's like so hyped right now. Everybody doing the mannequin challenge. That Black Beatles song. Like, it's just the bop. And I can't stop singing it. I can't stop playing it. Alright, I'm going to take this brown color right here with the Morphe M441 brush. Just take that on the very tip of it and put that in my crease. Below that first color, I apply. I wish as big and bulky as these palettes are, we can at least get like a big mirror right here. That way I can just be boom, dip, dip. You know, like it's so big. You think it's this big because of, well, I mean, I guess it's big because of all the eyeshadows, but like, I wish there was a mirror here. Thanks, please and thanks. I just went again when I went to Rite Aid and bought that foundation. I bought a bunch of these. Um, eyeliners and lip liners from Jordana and let me tell you <laughs> yesterday I wore the black eyeliner in my waterline and it went on so easy and it lasted all day and it was just so nice and I also got one in brown and I got one in green I don't know the exact name but brown black and green and yeah I just got green because you know it's the pop of color but yeah, now I'm excited to wear this brown one. I can open it, oh my god. And it's retractable. I like retractable liners. I don't like having to sharpen it. <sighs> okay. But I'm going to take the brown one and I'm just going to put this on my eyelid as a base. I'm going to need a mirror. I'm just going to take the small mirror because I'm going to grab my... Ah. Ah. So I'm just going to put this eyeliner all on my eyelid so smooth and it has a nice like point so you can just put it right on your waterline or wherever but right now I'm putting it on my lid pencil eyeliner that I had and I got this in my what um, beauty con bag some random brand eyeliner but it has like a little spongy tip I'm gonna use that to smudge the brown eyeliner out the edges I'm going to take this, hmm, wait, which one am I going to take? I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to take this brown right here, this right here, with that same blending brush, M441. And before I pack the color on my lid, I'm going to put it in my crease above that eyeliner. Just so that when I put the color all on my lid, and easily blend it. And yes, I just got this from um, Desi Perkins <laughs> last video. And she said she got this tip from Crispy. But yeah, she just did a brown smoky eye and uh, yeah, I just wanted to wear one. And she said put the color in your crease first. Then put it on your lid and it just helps it blend better. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, looking seamless. Now I'm going to pack that color onto my eyelid. You can find the brush. Okay. And it's going to come up even more intense and more of a deeper brown because of that eyeliner. Oh my gosh, look at my pop socket. I have been obsessed with these. I have so many. And they're just so convenient because I got the iPhone 7 Plus and this is my first time having the Plus. 
and, it, and now it doesn't feel so big in my hands I think I'm like used to it but I was like I have to get so many of these so I don't drop my phone all the time and <laughs> it comes in handy I'm gonna do a brown wing <laughs> last time I wore this I didn't wear any winged eyeshadow maybe I don't want to I don't know I'll try it I'll try it why not I'm gonna use this Kat Von D it's a little sample of their what's it called Hemingway it's just brown liquid eyeliner okay by Kat Von D then I'm gonna Okay, first of all, I know for a fact I can't do this with one hand. I don't know why I'm trying. I gotta get real close to my mirror, okay? So, sorry. Okay, not too bad. Let me just finish it up, and then I'll know. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put that same brow eyeliner that I put on my lid and my water. Now I'm just going to put the same colors that I put on my eyes, on my lower lash line, in that same water. I'm going to use this white eyeshadow on my brow bone. Ooh! I was not expecting that to be that pigmented. So my camera died, but I put on some eyelashes and um, also blush and highlight. <laughs> um, I'm wearing, let me just show you. I put on a mix of these two highlights, this is Champagne Pop and this is Persecco Pop by Jaclyn Hill. And some blush, so, and lashes like I said already. But now I'm about to do my hair. As you see, it's falling out of its pineapple. I know the camera is probably different too, but whatever, it's okay. Now, this is what I mean when... Well, okay, it's kind of fallen. But look, you can see the perimeter <laughs> where my ponytail was. Like, what is this? My ends are nice still, but like, the inside is netted. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep shaking it out. Hopefully, I can preserve it because I really liked how it looked yesterday. It's just too big right now. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Hello? Hey. Okay, so, I mean, it's kind of getting there. It's a little like matted in my roots but it looks better it looks okay but um it's a little dry so i'm gonna spray it with this carol's daughter hair whoop. carol's daughter hair milk refresher spray it's a little, it's a little moist a little moisture especially at the top the center that was like the center of the pineapple is really frizzy and dry now I'm going to take just a little bit of this hair smoothie. This is also by Carol's Daughter. It's called Black Vanilla. Um, I don't usually do this. I just need something. My hair just felt really dry and this is like a little quick moisturizer. I'm just going to rub that on. I'm trying not to rub it too aggressive because I don't want to disturb my curls. But it is dry. Especially back here. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now I need to put some gel on my edges. It's my favorite gel. Eco Styler gel. Whether it's the green one, the clear one. It doesn't matter. But right now I have the green one and it's almost gone actually. Ugh, but it lasts so long. This lasts forever. Had it for how long? I don't even know. Okay. I'm gonna put some gel here. And even like if this side's gonna be covering, I still put gel there because if the wind blows, I don't want to expose my frizzy edges. I still want those to be nice too. 
take my hair toothbrush just slide those down so I'm gonna take this big piece that's just too frizzy for me and add that on so that means my little side part is just gonna be a little bit bigger than usual but that's okay because I don't want that sticking out so instead I'm gonna do a two strand twist because just twisting it isn't holding it down Okay, now I need to lay my edges, so I'm going to put a little bit of gel on my brush, toothbrush, just a little bit, because if I put too much on here, it's going to move my like foundation and stuff. I need a here. So I'm just going to do this, just kind of messily brush on and pull them out, you know. And that's why this makes such a difference, like, in my, the frame of my forehead, like, everything. I just feel more put together when I do this step. Okay, and then to top it off, I just need a little bit of oil. This is macadamia oil. Just a few drops in my hand. Let's scratch it. And in the back, mostly. It's really, it's really dry. Okay, so now I'm about to finally get out of these clothes and I'll be right back. So, I'm all dressed. And of course, I look like super chill, which is a chill day. I'm not doing anything. This is me. I always wear like the dramatics of dramatic makeup and then just like a hoodie. But whatever. Um, I got this hoodie from Vanity and I'm wearing these jeggings. They look like jeans, but they're leggings. And yeah, I love this uh, hoodie because it like, it opens in the back. This is a tank top, by the way. But yeah, it like, it's like free. I like it. <laughs> Here's you guys a close up of the makeup. Little brown, brown smokiness going on. <laughs> the, I'm really happy with my hair actually. It feels good still. So I'm not going to downplay the pineapple, but it does take a little extra work. But I guess it's better than, um, you know, re-wetting my whole head, doing all that again. So, yeah. Yay for day two hair. It's looking okay. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot to say, I'm not wearing, like, lipstick. I just, you know, I just, I don't want to do too much. But, um, I'm just wearing this lip gloss. Um, I got it from Bath & Body Works. It's just, like, a spearmint lip gloss or whatever. But, so that completes this. Uh, get ready with me. I hope you guys liked it. Um, and I'm going to work on getting those videos out for you guys. All the ideas I have. Once I get my setup situated. So just, I feel like I'm always on here. Like, saying, you know, I'm going to get my life together. And I still haven't. But hopefully one day I will. And be able to push out videos for y'all. But until then, I hope you stick with me. And thanks for subscribing thus far <laughs> um but yeah just be patient with me okay okay we cool we cool all right um when i am absent on youtube i do always leave my social medias in my description box i always have my instagram snapchat and twitter so follow me on those if you ever you know so happen to miss me <laughs> uh yeah and that's about it that's all i have to say i'm gonna go looking furniture now um so I'll talk to you guys in my next video, which is hopefully soon. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.